Well, tomorrow the Detroit City Council is expected to vote on whether to approve a land swap with the owners of the Ambassador Bridge. The move would make it possible to expand a city park and give Maddie Maroon the land he needs to build that second bridge. But even if the move is approved, he could be facing more troubles across the border. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson with the story now from Windsor. Well, Maddie Maroon isn't popular around here. This is one of Windsor's most historic areas, and many around here say he's left it in ruins. Along Indian Road and beyond, the historic Sandwich Town district in Windsor is a shell of its former self. Lots of people left. This woman is one of the last holdouts. What did this neighborhood used to look like? Beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. I've been here for 40 years. But beautiful isn't what comes to mind when you see all the boarded up homes. Maddie Maroon, who owns the Ambassador Bridge, bought up about 100 structures with the intent of bulldozing them to allow for his new bridge to empty into Canada. But Windsor has not only been a thorn in his bridge plan, they've been fighting him over the state of his properties. Properties which have fallen into decay, taking the surrounding neighborhoods with them. The houses are locked up, they're falling apart, there's rats. It's something this resident sees too. The rodents and rats are the worst ones. If Detroit ends up giving Maroon what he wants, the owner's reputation here could continue to be a roadblock in getting the Canadian green lights he needs. That is, if his reputation here hasn't already hurt the plan altogether. In a nutshell, the city of Detroit is watching this neighborhood closely. If Maroon isn't a good steward here, it could affect his business dealings there. In Windsor, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News.